I think 15, 60 or so. Everything's supposed to be waterproof up inside here. That being, I've never seen this one here before yet, so I've got to go through and take a look at it. See everything that's going to be involved in this thing. Already undone. Okay. So it already comes with a mattress. Damn. The inside of this thing. Oh, nice. Just kind of see everything that's involved in here. Okay. That comes with the frame rails right here, it looks like. There's the poles. I do have to get these out and take a look at them. And there's the ladder. Yeah, it feels like mounting hardware. So, as for a kit like this, it's mini built. It looks like it's not too bad. Didn't have any damage done to it. The extra bar is right here. That came on top. It's going to be one of the ones that stands off to the side, I can imagine. So I've never really done this before. I will be finding out. Hoping to get some paperwork to go ahead and just have a better idea of what I'm looking at here. But yeah, these probably have supports to come out and kind of hold all these canopies open sides. tent cover it's probably going to go on after it's mounted it's an unwieldy beast and says it weighs about 170 pounds what you put a cover or put over it after it's uh, been installed so that'll be interesting all right I guess we'll find out once it's uh, put on top of, the, of my little handy dandy FPV trailer Gonna definitely be one hell of an FPV trailer after this. That proved its camping worth last time. I'm definitely gonna absolutely have fun with this thing. Yeah. All right. Alright, I uh, found the instruction manual. It's inside the cord with the LED strip, power block, uh, even comes with a couple extra, uh, what do you call it, uh, bungees and everything else. Got some of the other straps for holding it uh, down the sides of the veranda. There's your power cords, an extra USB cord so you can go ahead and take and attach up the uh, LED strip. I'm not quite sure what this is. We'll be finding out. It's probably extra lanyards. But, uh, yeah, so far it's not coming out too bad. A lot of goodies in here, but I'm going to have to go through the entire instruction sheet and read it pretty well just to make sure that um, I'm able to get the thing mounted onto the trailer safely. And there's going to be more than enough room to... Uh, Kind of get it spaced off the side, and these are your supporting hooks for the sides here. Man, that's pretty nice. I will say I'm definitely going to have fun with it, but I believe these are the mounting holes here. You get pre-drilled holes here, and that's probably going to be where your mounting brackets are going to end up uh, getting attached up to. It's 
surprised there's only two here. Huh, I guess uh, we'll have to see. All right. They say this is your slider bracket here. Slide plates. This is probably going to be what's also going to take and mount up your ladder onto this. I still have to open that up fully. Looks like uh, locks and everything else. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Kind of nice to give an entire bag just for this. <laughs> now, could have been a plastic bag, but now I'm not too worried about it. Probably go ahead and use that for extra utility on the inside when done. There's uh, extra slider plates right there, your brackets. Uh, these are probably going to be for your mountings. I will have to read through the manual. All the heavy duty hardware, the bolts, good. Uh, I get this thing mounted to the top of the trailer, it'll probably uh, be wanting to use all the heavy duty hardware to kind of keep it from flexing from side to side or forward to back. There should be plenty of room front to back. Uh, the sizing and everything else comes up well short of what the overall length of the trailer is. And it may be hanging off the side, uh, maybe just uh, maybe about an inch or two side to side and everything else. I will have to definitely... Uh, Taking it into accountability for when I get it up there. So, all right, let me get on with the reading of the manual and everything else. I don't want to bore you with the details. So, all right. Peel off carefully. Move and discard. They contain ta uh, trap shavings. Move and discard. All right. Spot for the mounting bolts. Hey, look at that. There was extra trap shavings in there. All right. Stuff does not come off easy if it uh if it starts shredding, as you can tell. <laughs> I'll just have to go through and clean up. Kind of inspecting for any other mounting holes, so I'll have to find out what's going on. They've got extra holes right there. But I can imagine the other the way that this thing is arranged. If not mistaken, I'm looking for the side that I can go ahead and put in an arrangement where it's going to open going over the uh, the door side of the trailer, which is going to be on the, the right side, starboard side. Most likely, this is going to be the front, and this is going to be the back, and this is going to be your flat surface that mounts down. I'll have to take a better look and find out first before I verify that. <laughs> so, because this, I believe, is part of your veranda. This one that's going to be sticking out and over, and your actually, this may be your attachment points for the ladder. <laughs> Okay, it's a good thing I'm taking a look at this first. I just didn't see any of the other pre-drilled holes, but you do have these here, and I have a feeling this is going to be for uh, your other locations for those rods to stick out and probably hook into here. Okay, so find out. All right. Yeah, I definitely found it. So these little mounting holes right here. These are the ones where your main mounting brackets are going to go. They're drilled right through the bottom. I can go ahead and access them from the inside. So I can go ahead and feed the bolts up through. As it shows on here. Yeah, so there's six mounting holes right here. So it should have enough to uh, be able to take and get this mounted on good and solid. So this being the bottom, the other side is the top, and the ladder is on the other side with those mounting holes. All right. And with these right here, these probably am going up to the top cover that goes over the entire uh, tent. 
as you can see where it's firmly mounted onto the side rail here these right here but to help secure your uh, your tent together once it's on but I'm wondering I'll have to take a look and see how it's actually uh, mounted up uh, with the cover on because it'll probably be I guess I'll find out <laughs> all right I don't want to speculate just yet I'm just uh, uncovering it at the moment so all right all right should have everything I need in order to be able to fit this to put on. Nice view. Okay. So now these brackets are here. I'll go ahead and get the hardware off. Yeah, all these uh, items that came in here, they're packed really, really well. And of course, sending with uh, the straps and everything else, just to make sure everything's going to be uh, well secured when it goes on top of the vehicle. So, yeah, let's get this thing off here. It's just kind of odd that they didn't show this in the diagram. They just uh, showed the attachment up here, and that's it. Fit on the outside. I'm going to have to loosen up the, the bolts here on the outside and get it to fit properly. Yeah, these uh, little wrenches that they supply into it, two cast metal wrenches specifically with 10 and 13 millimeter. Pretty handy when you're just trying to get this thing set up right, so. Yeah, we'll see. when you're trying to do this by yourself. I'm the type of person who usually doesn't like to ask for help that often. Except if I really, really need to. Oops. Yeah, I see. Probably making it go on one side and the other. That's why there's no stress on the brackets. I was trying to look for that in the instructions. I didn't really see that too much. But because they're spaced perfectly off to the side, I kind of figure it's going to have to go on one side or the other. Uh, and I have to make sure that these little rubber, rubber feet are going on the bottom so that basically when it rests up against here, to keep it off of there. Kind of an obvious uh, question before you take and put it on here. <laughs> yeah, I have to 
after working with the Navy for so many years, you kind of get used to doing a lot of stuff. Uh, everything else on your own when other coworkers aren't available and everything to uh, assist you at that time. But you know, it's always grateful for asking for help. So. When it comes time to mounting it on top of the trailer, I will definitely need to get some help. But first, I need to get the mounting brackets mounted up on the bottom of the trailer, or the uh, top of the, the tent, and then I'll go over and take and measure the, uh, the mounting holes, the spacing, and get that to where I can go ahead and just drop this in and set the bolts right into the mounting holes. I have to uh, cut some aluminum brackets so I can go ahead and have something to help support the fiberglass that's on top of the trailer a little better. Alright, so I'll finish up. That's a little bit of resistance, not much though. But as long as you get the plastics uh, or Teflon spacers on both sides of these, it'll work just fine. So I'm going to go tighten this back down. Now that it's set up like this, now it should be able to be set fairly well and everything will slide. Allow this, this one mounting to float while I'm trying to get this tightened down. So, oh, nice sunny day. <laughs> kind of glad for that after being so uh, wrapped up after a while. All right. Installing these brackets right here, just to make sure you kind of leave the, the hardware loose. But you know, with the nuts, you basically slide down the center rail right here and get it to where you can go ahead and pop it through here. You have to be uh, kind of gingerly on the very first one. As soon as it mounts in here, you can go ahead and just get the other side in here. That dog is going to be barking the entire time. Yeah, it's all mounted. This little bracket right here, since we go in, this is what's going to be mounting the bolts on the other side. Uh, the 8mm goes through here first, and then you start them in. Pretty easy. Make sure you get the bolts in first. <laughs> See how long it takes me to get these brackets made. Already took the slid the nuts in here. The access to it is on the back on the, the fold on the inside here. Take off the stickers, feed the bolts up too. You go right inside. The nuts that are mounted inside of this inner rail here. your M6 bolts here. lined up here with the end of the frame here. So I'm going to need you to make sure it's going to be on. This is going to be a wrench. The key is don't over tighten it. Because it will compress the floor. I'm trying to kind of compromise the integrity right there. Somebody has never 
never assembled an overlanding tent yet, so I'm just trying to see the ease of construction and how well this thing is built. here just kind of get it up off the, uh, the bed of the trailer so I can go ahead and make sure that these are going to be measured exactly I need to go all the way down here there's at least about four mountings that I can go ahead and put in two in the back cargo area here two in the main area here and then one up here in the front cargo spot here and it should, should provide a really firm mounting when all the uh, attachments are all right might as well show this a little bit this is how I got them mounted underneath uh, the underside of the roof and everything I'm using those brackets I found this is the best way to spread the load with the plywood that is mounted on the roof kind of nice I've got these little lights in here but as I said I had to take and raise these up just a little bit and I've got square tubing it's three quarter inch square tubing it's off at an angle it's about the biggest step that I had it's just the easiest way to spread the load up here since this is all fiberglass up here and then painted with white acrylic enamel and I also have it here I had to do it because of that standoff right there Unfortunately, the access panel for the very top with all the antennas and uh, kind of got in the way and a little hard to get around it and of course uh, Nice place for the big direct to be stored But yeah All right, here we go Going up Cockpit has definitely come a long ways, but I have it mounted right there you can see it's got all the proper hardware and everything else it's all nicely mounted up it tightened all the way down and the other one is up over in this corner over here right next to the charge controller I have to take and put a better mounting on it I don't know if it's going to show up or not here yeah much better right there so both of them are fully mounted and when I Take this out and I'll be able to take and get a better idea of uh, how the the tent is going to handle on top of the trailer and see if there's any unusual tendencies so all right red light white light oh <laughs> yeah everything still works can't wait to start taking this thing out to the uh, the field all right
Zippers, zippers, zippers. thing and see how long it takes. to get all this stuff up and everything else. I had to figure out how these braces actually went in. Uh, it's not too bad actually. Holds now that I've got good view of the inside, I'm going to start working on the other little uh, flap inserts and everything else. So I'll go ahead and see how these things are going to install. You got these ready drilled holes here, they all set an angle. Goes off an angle here, and supposed to go into the insert. Making sure that they're going to be fully set. Okay. Now it goes like that. Then I just go this. Maybe set the length on these. This way everything's all set when you go to uh, set it up again.
I gotta find out if there's some more to this, because there's a zip on the bottom. So, you know, just the initial setup is going to be the all your your added time for being able to get this thing going. But once it's all together, it shouldn't be much of a problem. Then. All right, got the windows. It's kind of nice because it provides a little bit of a uh, closure and everything else from my, uh, from my breakfast area over here. Yeah, we've got the sides all set up. Just had to go ahead and open up some of the windows. I could probably take and roll this up. And it's kind of nice. It has these clips on here and everything else. So you can go ahead and take and bundle the windows up. Uh, once you get the, the substructure in here, then you can go ahead and take put these up. And then you tighten these down and to make sure that everything's nice and tight. And I'm kind of thinking that these are for other straps so you can go ahead and take and actually strap it down to the ground uh, looks like there's additional uh, pieces here and everything else but I didn't get any additional uh, way to kill the, the spring wire so okay and the ladder this is about the configuration I have to have it in for this right here so I've got about three steps together here and it gives me about the right kind of angle so we'll go ahead and climb on up these posts right here they embed into these little inserts here it goes all the way up and around this cross brace here it goes under uh, underneath the center brace here and uh this one right here it hooks up to here on the inside it kind of clips in here it's got these little nylon clips here it's not too bad yeah, here, here, and it holds out nice and steady right here. So, yeah, I'd say it's pretty pretty well tight. The only thing that's unstable is the suspension on the trailer. But then again, it is my FPV trailer. The, the suspension doesn't really have any shock absorbers. Uh, the best way I can describe this mattress is that it's like a memory foam. You know, you get a step on it. I just kind of spent about 15 minutes up here just kind of lying down. Feels rather comfortable, but you get one center point of pressure and you can definitely feel the floor. I'm not really too worried about that since I'll be laid out most of the time. Uh, there on my stomach. These right here, you've got your waterproof windows right here. Let me open up that. Like that. You've got this. You can go ahead and roll these up. And you get a nice plastic cover here. It's rather nice. Now this way, if you see the rain coming down, at least you can kind of watch it. It's kind of nice. But most part, they all zip up really, really easy. Just make sure that this other strap is up here. That kind of keeps the water from getting anywhere close to that seam. All right. This right here, you zip that up. There's your securing straps. And it looks like extra ventilation right here. So in case everything is completely closed up, it'll give you some sort of ventilation. On this trailer itself, though, I already had this nose piece here. I set it up like a, a wedge. Actually kind of makes it nice because I can reach right out and put the shoes. This cover right here provides a rain cover. Probably put my dinner out here or something like that if I really wanted to kind of keep it out of the tent. You know, really nice. Got these straps up in here. Uh, kind of keeps the poles pretty much in a general location uh, You got the other ones on the outside here, which go up to the upper The upper fly up here but Yeah, I got a couple more over here 
keeps the fly stretched out here and you tighten these down just to kind of keep everything out nice and tight so yeah overall in general condition i think uh this should probably work out just fine so other than that i'd say for the the rugged the rugged built uh each of the seams right here i was checking out to make sure that each of them was watertight I'll find out if I can get a good uh, night of uh, camping at a site, if I can go ahead and find one. At least I uh, kind of get a better idea, but we're really going to be putting it through the test this summer. This ought to be interesting uh, just to see how that's going to work. I'm under the impression, too, that this is actually set up for, let's say, if you don't have these flies here, you bring them in here and you roll everything up. And this basically ties everything up. So that kind of gives you that option right there. All right. But yeah, a good sturdy ladder. It'll definitely keep this thing from... Uh, I, I don't really feel any kind of up or down play or anything like that. And when the trailer gets knocked side to side, it just... Uh, it kind of flexes and it kind of allows movement along with it. So... Yeah, not bad. All right, let's show some else. All right, yeah, you might be able to actually hear it a little bit better. It took the cover off this camera, so. But yeah, for the way that this trailer has been set up, I usually have all the camping gear back here along with the generator, all the food up the top, all the rugged stuff here underneath the very bottom. That's where I basically I've got the camp stove and everything else, and that's, that's still all locked up. A lot of the utensils and everything else, but yeah, it's kind of nice. The fact that this right here should provide a little bit of cover and everything else over the table. I'm sure if I really need to, I'll be putting the 10 by 10 uh, arch right over here, and then I can go ahead and kind of provide a little bit of cover, especially if I'm going to be out in the field for more than a couple days. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, of course, opening that up, how it folds down. And I've got the table right here. That's how this is normally set up. But then I've got access to kind of put equipment up in here if I really need to. Uh, at least that's all opened up. But, yeah, the only drawback is, like as I said, I don't have any shock absorbers on this trailer. See it rocking, don't come knocking. Yeah. I also installed this ladder up in front. Kind of nice and get access to move up there too. That was a uh, that was from there a, a little while ago. Uh, nice uh, temporary access to get up in here. But, yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely see how this thing's going to go. So, all right. I think that's about it for now. I'm just going to go ahead and update as uh, we go along and do some more camping. But in this way, I hope I can actually get out to some good locations and actually give it a full try. So, all right. And I don't know if anybody knows what that is. I'm going to try and uh, paint a little something on the, on the door up there for uh, a certain company I like uh, quite a bit. So, all right.